Hi, welcome to Chapter 5. Memory, Models and Research Methods. Let me introduce our quick questions. Who is the President of the Philippines? What is today's date? What did you have for lunch? What were some of your experiences when you first started college? How do you spend your weekends? Those questions were pretty easy, right? Although retrieving the answers to these questions seemed easy, it is actually quite amazing that we can remember so many different facts and procedures without problems. In this chapter, we will see how we store information and retrieve it from memory. Now, let's talk about tasks used for measuring memory. In studying memory, researchers have devised various tasks that require participants to remember arbitrary information like numerals or letter strings in different ways. The tasks described fall into two major categories, recall versus recognition memory and implicit versus explicit memory. Recall versus recognition tasks. In recall, you produce a fact, a word, or other item from memory. Fill in the blank and most essay tests require that you recall items from memory. Three main types of recall tasks are used in experiments, serial recall, free recall, and queued recall. In serial recall task. You must repeat the items in a list in the exact order in which you heard or read them. If you were shown the digits 2, 8, 7, 1, 6, 4, you would be expected to repeat 2, 8, 7, 1, 6, 4, in exactly that order. In free recall task. You must repeat the items in a list in any order in which you can recall them. If you were presented with a word list dog, pencil, time, pair, monkey, restaurant, you would receive full credit if you repeated monkey, restaurant, dog, pencil, time, pair. In queued recall task. You must memorize a list of paired items, then when you are given one item in the pair, you must recall the mate for that item. In recognition tasks, you must select or otherwise identify an item as being one that you learned previously. Multiple choice and true-false tests involve recognition. Now, the second category, implicit versus explicit memory tasks. In implicit memory tasks, you must draw on information in memory without consciously realizing that you are doing so. Word completion tasks tap implicit memory. In explicit memory tasks, you must consciously recall particular information. Who wrote Hamlet? Of course, it's none other than the iconic, William Shakespeare. Furthermore, there are other memory tasks we should know. We have here declarative knowledge tasks. In this, we must recall facts. Like what is your first name? And we have tasks involving procedural knowledge. In this, we must remember learned skills and automatic behaviors, rather than facts. If you were asked to demonstrate a knowing how skill, you might be given experience in solving puzzles or in reading mirror writing, and then you would be asked to show what you remember of how to use those skills. Now, let's appreciate intelligence and the importance of culture in testing. In these cultures, people may believe that more intelligent people do not rush into things. Even in our own culture, no one will view you as brilliant if you rush things that should not be rushed. Several researchers have suggested that providing culture-relevant tests is possible. Culture-relevant tests measure skills and knowledge that relate to the cultural experiences of the test takers.